second half then at the Jalan Basar Stadium about to get underway. Home United up against Albrecht Nagata in the Yo's Great Eastern S League. 1 0 right now to Home United, thanks to that man of the moment, Lee Kuan Wu. A free kick in the 41st minute, somehow finding its way into the back of the net. Problems for Alberex and also that their keeper, Enjiro Ogino, has had to be stretched off just towards the end. And this man, Hiroaki Hara, who's actually the first choice, dropped uh, for this game, finds his way back onto the pitch probably sooner than he expected. Indra Shadan, someone that Rafi Ali had been asking <laughs> to come onto the pitch. Uh, you got your wish, uh, yeah. Rafi. I mean, Indra is a player who, is can, who can do a lot of things and he's, he's good with the ball and running of the ball. You see him going for that run behind the defenders. So, you know, it will, I think it will give more problem to the Albirax defenders. Yeah, Indra Shadan. I mean, he's just been around for absolutely forever, hasn't he? And he's 34 years of age right now, but he still runs around everywhere, doesn't he? Oh, he's still young. <laughs> <laughs> Younger than you and me, Rafi, that's for sure. There he is. There's a substitution. Yeah. Ah, Juma Jantan is the substitute. So you probably have Serena Kamara moving across? Probably. I think it's, uh, or maybe Masri's one is playing on the left. You see Masri's one is on the left now. So a lot of changing around. This is uh, absolutely right there. Good spot, Rafi Ali. So, Masrez one. It's a direct swap. Are you a bit surprised by Jumat Jantan being taken off? Yeah, probably some injuries there because uh, we don't see him, uh, uh, you know, any problems there in the first half. Probably it's just some problems with his injuries or whatever. A bit of a surprise move by Lilim Seng, but I suppose the way he's set his team out anyway, we shouldn't be too surprised. Again, says that, like, you know, having Indra in the team now, he's pushing up forward, and that gives Lee a chance more to get, come and collect the ball. And I think that's exactly what, what he's doing. You know, he's playing off Indra, staying behind Indra to collect second ball, and then and to initiate the attack. Well, it's another shot from distance, and another one that's uh, well off target. Hafiz Rahim with the effort, but... It's a willingness to shoot. Uh, Home United pretty confident at the moment. Yeah, I mean, with one goal up, uh, they, 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 are, they are, can see their intention is trying to, to, to get more goals and try to kill the game. We've just got news that the goalkeeper, uh, Algres goalkeeper, is on the way to the hospital. Well, let's hope all the best for Ogino. We'll hopefully get some kind of uh, update at the end of the game when our reporter Shelby Ko speaks to one of the officials. So it certainly looked uh, pretty bad when they couldn't lift him onto the stretcher. And we were speculating on whether it could have been a rib injury. We'll get an update for you as soon as we can. On the pitch, though, it's Home United who are looking pretty confident. It's a good turn. Here's Indra. Lee Kuan Wu. It's a lovely way to pour through. That's what he can do. Yeah. That's exactly what you were yeah. looking for, Rafi Ali. He's dangerous when he's playing behind uh, the, 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 playing as a second striker just in front of the defenders in that hole there because he's got a lot of vision and he's got... So those kind of passes that makes... Uh, People like Jordan Red in Russia are very happy because you know just to bounce in the ball. Bit of space in the midfield. Here's Castanera going wide. Sakamoto. Too much on that. Just not working at the moment yeah. for Alborex. Uchikawa couldn't get there. This was the ball for Jordan Webb. Yeah. I don't think there's a, any right claim for a penalty, do you? No, no. Very fair challenge. But again, Lee, you know, he's, like we were talking about him, an excellent player who has got great vision, you know, with that pass. So they, they are looking more for that from him. Chasing the game 
Arborex Negata. Well, we do know they have a real strength and character this side. Let's not forget that, in fact, Home United were 1 0 up the last time these two sides met. That was thanks to Indra Shadan in the 64th minute, just after he came on. But Kenta Nagasaki equalized six minutes later. And right at the end, Kento Fukuda got the winner. So let's not write off Albrex just yet. Yeah, I mean, you can see there's improvement in Albrex too. We have, they're trying to go forward faster and they're, they're trying to get their passing game going. There were plenty of chances in that game. Unlike this one. We talked about having that quality on the pitch. Fidel Sidros, he'd be loving this, wouldn't he? This is the kind of game he'd be relishing. And unfortunately, he is suspended for this match. Someone, uh, perhaps, you think could get more time with the national team, Fidel Sidros? Yeah, I mean, we'd like to see. I mean, I, I would like to see players like uh, Jamil, Firdaus, that, yeah, they are small, but, you know, they can add. They, they, they are different players, you know, they can... You know, to have them on the bench is always an advantage, you know. But uh, maybe with this new coach, who knows? I would really hope to see, especially players like Jamel and uh, Firdaus. Uh, maybe Indra. Indra, I think Indra still, Indra and Amalatev still has it. You know, I think they still got it to be the national team. Well, you heard it here first. Rafi Ali calling for Indra Shadan and Ahmad Latif to be given another chance in the national squad. As Home United now looking very comfortable, they're passing the ball at will. Kamara, he stays in that centre-back position, which is uh, certainly something I've never seen him play before. But he's looked pretty comfortable. They haven't had problems at the back too much, to be fair. Yeah. They haven't been tested that defence. I mean, the credit goes to the midfield of Home United because they are putting a lot of pressure on the you know. The Albirax midfielders in midfield, so the, the Albirax players couldn't have a chance to, to give the ball to the strikers. So that, that gives the, the defenders, you know, uh, cover a lot of cover, and you know. There you go. There's that hassle we talked about, but then very quickly given away. Sakamoto was shaping to shoot. The referee plays advantage. That's uh, probably the right decision. As the Man stays down, though. He'll keep hold of the ball. Not done with that pass. We are hearing that uh, the keeper, Okino, for Albrex, who has made his way to hospital, is got a concussion which is incredible that he even continued more on that in a while I'm sure Lee Kuan Wu we didn't see him in that kind of isolated position did we yeah. out wide in that first half yeah like, like we were talking about just now no, it gives him a lot of space and now he's moving forward I think uh, Home United knows what Albrecht is, is trying to do and they are, they are killing the midfield and trying to go forward faster and getting Lee off. Here's Masrez one who's been shunted all over the pitch tonight. <laughs> A very, very versatile player, yeah. I think you'd have been happy to be put in centre back, Rafi, if you had been asked to by your coach. Well, I've played that before. <laughs> Reluctantly, probably. Yeah. Up is Ryan with the shot. Sorry. Yeah, go I on, must Rafi. know. I, mean, I, I, I know how Masrezo must be feeling because they're putting all over the place. But actually, to be honest, you know, when you when you play in so many positions, uh, it's better for you because you understand the game better. Up is Ryan dragging that just wide. He's a, he's a confident man, isn't he? You were, yeah. the last time you and I did commentary together, we were speaking about the, the lack of confidence in. In some of the Singapore players, yes. but Hafiz Rahim seems to have plenty of that. Yeah, like I say, I watched him play when he, you know when he was in Geelang. He, he doesn't care who who he's playing up against, and he just plays his normal game. And he's the kind of player who likes to dribble and get past players and take a shot at goal. 
I mean, this is what we like to see from, uh, especially our local boys, you know, who uh, I think they just lack the self-confidence. They, they have all the talents, but they just lack the self-confidence. Well, Home United, be pretty confident at the moment. With their 1 0 lead, thanks to Lee Kuan Wu. We were speaking uh, in that first half about a lack of a, a plan B. And uh, we haven't really seen a plan B yet from. from think, or any kind of change yeah. in. In, in play from Albrecht, they're not yeah. really putting anything into place, are they? I think at this, at this moment now, they just they just want to settle down, you know, settle into their rhythm, and uh, it is just not happening for them. A credit to Home United because again they are putting players all under pressure. So I think coach has got to come up with a, a plan B how to counter this. At this moment, you see Home United like holding the ball and passing the ball around. Yes, it's almost like the roles have reversed here. That's Jordan Webb. Happy to dictate the pace completely here. Home United. It's a tricky ball. And a foul by Fukui. The ball has to stop rolling, that's an obvious one. Just looking at the bench for uh, Albrecht's Nagata. These aren't players necessarily that get much game time. Hiroki Morisaki has been in and out of the team. And uh, Arima is the only out and out forward. These are some of the guys they'll be looking at. But it's really the guys on the pitch right now that have to step up here. Yeah. I mean, a lot of the players, Albrecht's players especially, uh, playing, I think, well below par. Yeah. Let's not forget, uh, they've had a week's break, Rafi, when they beat uh, Warriors 3-2. Probably that's a problem, do you think? So? Yeah, well, I was just going to say, I mean, uh, as a player yourself, would you prefer having extra game in the week, or is that a week too long for a break for you? What, what do you prefer? I think, for me as a player, I would, I would like to keep the momentum going, because when you have these breaks, it, you know, yeah, it's good that you can rest, but... You know, it just keeps you off, uh, it keeps your foot off the pedal, you know, to, to, to keep on going, give, give you the momentum that you are, you are in, right? Another clever ball from Lee Kwan, we always find that danger area. You know, like we were talking about, he's the most, he's most dangerous when he's playing in, in, in that hole in between the defenders and the midfielders. Fukui with the shot, but, uh, well, we didn't get quite get to see the ball that was played just behind the defence, he just dinked it over. That's twice now he's played that kind of ball, Lee Kuan Wu. Another bad pass, given away so cheaply by Arborex. I have to say, I have to mention this about Mas Rezwan. I'm mean, very impressed with him because uh, we've seen him playing as a right back and uh, centre forward, right midfield, left back now. And, you know, he didn't disappoint. I mean, he does his job really, really well. I mean, he looks like a natural left, left defender. Where do you think is his best position, though, if I was to ask you that? <laughs> uh, I've always known him as a striker. He's an intelligent player, he's, he's good on the ball, technically very good on the ball, so he's very comfortable everywhere. Well, they're being forced back every time, Albrecht Snigata. Just unable to get that ball forward. And the midfielders come steaming forward, there's another example of that, but this falls uh, quite nicely for Castanera. Tries to slip it through, that's again a poor pass. Again, experience from Madrid's one that he knows the place is going to play, he's going to put the ball behind him, you know, it's just covered the angle. And again, Albirex likes to play, Albirex likes to, to, to get uh, their midfielders behind the, 
uh, home United midfielders, not just to play the, the threat uh, in between ball uh, through the, the midfielders, but uh, the defenders of the home United and uh, the midfielders of home United is very compact. So they didn't have the chance to play that to, to play that through ball. Yeah, they're not allowing them those opportunities yeah. and it's making a tough one. That was close for Kamara. Nakamoto putting pressure on him. Fukui. Hafiz Rahim. Must rest one. We hardly mention uh, Kazuki's name you know, because normally he's there. He's the one who's coming out and taking the ball in between uh, the defenders and the, the midfielders. Yeah, Kazuki Sakamoto is the uh, hot shot for Alvarex. He's got six goals this season. Nagasaki next on four. Castanero with three. But those three guys, I don't think we've even mentioned Nagasaki once tonight. That forward line for Alvarex, anonymous at the moment. I'm just wondering as well, Rafi, whether other coaches might be looking at this and thinking, well, it's worked so well for Home United. We've got to be looking at something like this when yeah, we play. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's, it's. I mean, during my playing days uh, when we played Albirex, uh, that time my coach was uh, what I want. Yeah, he always tell us that because Albirex likes to play the ball, thread the ball in between the midfielders, and he always tell us, okay, keep it compact, the defense and the midfield, keep it compact, let them play the ball in front of you. It doesn't matter, but do not allow them to play this through ball behind the defenders because. Uh, behind the midfielder because they, they have strikers who likes to come in in, in the hole that you know that will create problem for us again how many times have they had to pass back to Hara because of lack of options this is really going very well at the moment on the hour mark here for home united a goal to the good against uh, Albrecht Nagata if home united win this they could go as high as third leapfrogging Tanjung Paga who just fell away as we saw in those results earlier Albrecht <laughs> Nagata will only be three points above them and this is a fantastic achievement if they can do it given that home United had a poor start to the season yeah, yeah like I say we, he, he the home United squad is slowly getting on their feet and they're slowly, slowly getting onto their rhythm and uh, you know, and you can see the belief of the players that they know they can win games. They know they have quality in the squad and they can win games. And uh, credit to the coach, and he's got this tactic spot on today, putting Albrecht under pressure. And I think yeah, most of the players are enjoying the game. And now you have you see Lee uh, on the ball more often than in the first half, and he's getting into the game more often. And that's what you need. That's what Home United needs: players like him getting on the ball threading that dangerous pass into, into attack. You know? Yeah, they're really struggling at the back here because they can't get out of their own half at the moment. I will remind you though that Home United dominated in a similar fashion the last time these two sides met and it was Albrecht who went home at all three points so there is still at least half an hour in this game to go. Let's not discount Albrecht just yet. Oh, that's well played down the overlapping run. Fukui doesn't have too many options just yet. My you know, so he's got no option. Really good run from him on yeah. that right hand side. He did well here. And I think we also have to give a little bit of credit to Ishikawa, did well. Yeah, I mean, uh, he put, stuck his body in between Paul and uh, Ismail Yunos. You saw Ismail Yunos looking up and there's always Lee in the penalty box there, so you know, I think he tried to beat the defender. They're quite happy to pass back to the goalkeeper as well. Home United back line has been solid today. Uh, you know, with Kamara and Oraman in the middle of the park. I mean, they have marshaled the defense very, very well today. And we just spoke about Kamara and had he gave, bit of space he gave here. A bad pass. Oh, oh that's been the first real chance they've had around that penalty area, where there was a bit of space to play with. Took a bit too long, perhaps, Rafi. Yeah, I mean, Kamara tried to make the pass, and it was a bad pass. It was a pass to the Albirex. We didn't get to see that, but uh, it was from him. So there will be.
will be a substitution here. Masatake Sato is coming on, replacing Nagasawa. That'll be uh, pretty much a like-for-like -like substitution. Nagasawa plays in the centre of the park. I also want to go back to a name that you were just mentioning there, Noor Rahman. Yeah. 30 years of age, you know, he's been solid servant as well for the national team. Yeah. He he can't even get into the national team at the moment. Yeah, I mean, uh, I don't know, like I say, you know, all coaches have got their, 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 their you know, preference of players and stuff like that. But I've known Noor Rahman since he was a young boy. He's a, he's a very, very, very talented player. He can play in midfield, but only, you know, because Football is so modern right now. When you want to play at the back there, you want to play as a back four, you need to talk. So the problem with him is he doesn't talk. Another quiet performer, No yeah. Roman, gets on with the job. I just see perhaps a change in pace in Rabrex. Yes, yeah. Rafi, sorry. When talking about No Roman, a player who doesn't complain and who doesn't, you know, uh, give any problem. But, you know, I think he's, to me, he's really underrated as a player because, because he's too quiet. Well, they've certainly somehow decided to pick up the pace here, Alvarex. I think it's finally dawned upon them that time is ticking away. Starting to put pressure on. Again, being forced back by this very well-drilled Home United side. Home United has, has kept their shape really, really, really well, you know, and then and they make the field look really, really small for RB Rex and didn't give, give them time on the ball. Gordon Webb there losing the ball. That's that's more the kind of ball that we see from RB Rex that somehow stayed in. But that's the kind of ball you're talking about. Yeah. But, uh, you know, when he went on the byline, there's, there's nobody in the, in, in the box to, to pounce on the ball, you know. <laughs> Sakamoto, space on this right-hand side. Nagasawa, of course, has left the pitch. Man is taken over. Sato. Just get the impression they're pushing a bit more now, and that's a decent header. Cheryl Jantan called into service for the first time tonight in the 67th there, yeah? minute. Yeah. The ball Again, stood this, up well. This like before this on the left, uh, before the cross on the left, there's a right back it came up, came up to, 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 you know, to went for the overlap. And instead of putting the cross in early, he, he still passed the ball back to midfield. And that is what I'm talking about, Albirex. When they go forward, they always like to bring the ball back and get it organised again. Too much passing, perhaps, yeah, sometimes. Yeah, you know, sometimes when you get into this dangerous position, it is. Maybe you can try to get the early crosses in and see how it goes if you test the goalkeeper. Well, they uh, said they wanted to play the patient game today, Albrecht. This is uh, this a patience masterclass at the moment because they have waited a long, long time. Masato Fukui replaced by Hazik Asman. That would seem to me a more defensive substitution. Yeah, I mean, uh, I know Hazik very well. He's from, uh, he grew up with Tempanese and, you know, a good midfield player, a good holding player. And, uh, I guess uh, what they are trying to do is just to, to keep hold, uh, keep it tight in, in midfield and try to maybe get them on the counter. Would you advocate that so early on with more than 20 minutes to go? Would you, would you, is that something you would do yourself? Uh, not really, because at this moment, to me, uh, you know, we are, like, if I'm the home United coach, we are on top, we are, we are winning the game and uh, we are keeping the game, you know, keeping good possession, keeping the game under control. So probably a quick, about maybe 10 minutes more. It looks like uh, Lilim Seng wants to keep those points, but it may just encourage Alberex to come at home United. You can see now they're beginning to just turn the screw a little bit here inside this final third. Cross comes in, and 
it's headed uh, away for a corner. It's a cru crucial header from uh, Masrizwan there. He's had a good game so far, Masrizwan, wherever he's played on the pitch. Darrell Jantan making his first save of the game just a couple of minutes ago. Getting the ball away off a throw in. Kamara clears. That right hand side, Kamara will shepherd this and realizes there's not enough steam. Twenty minutes left in this game. Probably Coach Lee felt that, you know, for the past that. Uh, five ten minutes the, the game has been played in his own half so I think that's the reason why he puts an extra midfielder in so to allow Lee to have the freedom to go forward now well will they Sit back here, Arborex uh, will be pushing forward and Home United don't want to get to that position where they uh, invite yeah. Arborex at them. Looks like Lin Lim Seng though has been quite happy to do that. Yeah, I'm sure the coach will not want uh, this to happen like, you know, Albirex playing the game in their half and I'm sure the coach will want them to put pressure on Albirex too and try to win the ball in, in Albirex half. Yellow card for time wasting. Don't tell me they're starting that already. Early in this game to be doing that. Ismail Yunus with the yellow card. No, 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 no. Yeah, they certainly will be taking their time now, yeah. Rafi. Yeah. So they will be inviting Albirex to put them under pressure so that they can create space behind Albirex defend. There's confirmation of the booking for Ismail Yunus. That's well tidied up and here come Home United. Just got to be careful here. Camera clears. Oh, that's Lee Kwan Wu again. Looking for that through ball. Picking up the loose one here. That's a last ditch tackle. I think it was offside anyway. Uh, I'm not sure Jordan Webb should have got involved in that. Yeah. Well, I mean, look at Lee again, you know? I mean, now I think at the moment now, uh, the coach will be hoping for him to keep hold of the ball and maybe uh, get a foul or a free kick in, in Albirek's half. And with this pass and Indra, so quick pouncing on the ball. Jordan got in the way, and that's why it was called offside. offside. Well, that's the kind of ball you've been asking for yeah. from Lee Kuan Yew. He's been delivering those, hasn't he? Look at the number of red shirts in this half. And then they drill themselves back. Castanera. Oh, that's a good bit of improvisation from Ichikawa. Still finding it difficult to advance that ball forward. Good return ball, but it's cut out again. Camera with a poor ball. Oh, that was a dangerous move. Twice, Camara caught the, the bad pass, and I think he's putting him short, himself under pressure. 
I think he's got more time on the ball. Keep it calm. Sakamoto finding himself with a little bit of space here. Unleashing it. Now it's a matter of nerves, uh, Rafi. I think they know Albirax is slowly creeping into the game. Again, a good pass. Gordon Webb certainly waiting for this ball, taking their time. Indra with the throw in. He's fresh as knees, looking keen and eager. Good ball in by Manorama. Again, they'll chase this down. There's Indra. All the way back to Hara. Once again, they are finding it difficult, Albrechts, to get out of their own half. Kamara. Sofia Ahmed taking a bit more of a withdrawn role. Looking at these two sides. In recent years, Club United and Albrechts have shared the honours between them in the last 28 matches. In the last 28 matches, though, uh, Home United have uh, been overwhelming favourites. So 14 wins as opposed to Albrecht's Nagata's nine. And there have been five draws in those uh, matches. Home United have uh, scored 47 goals. And Albrecht's have scored 43. So pretty close in that, uh, in that department. But uh, overall, History, at least, is in Home United's favour. Well, I think I'm hearing the fans say Lilim Seng. That's not something you hear very often. <laughs> I mean, they finally knew that he, you know, they know that he did a good job today. You know, he got his tactics spot on. And, uh, yeah, I think we've got to give credit where credit's due. Yeah, I mean, uh, you can see that Home United is playing good football today and, and they, they are doing the job well. And they are getting the results at the moment now. I don't think we have had a lot of uh, live games here. Albrecht's Nagata at the Jalabasar Basar Stadium. In fact, we're having them live again next Friday against a Haugang. But uh, with all the games we've seen them, we haven't seen them this outplayed. Yeah. Because they just haven't been allowed to to play their normal game. Again, credit to the coach. Yeah. I mean, he understood. Uh, he he made his homework and uh, he knew what uh, he needed he needed to do to the team and, and, and thing and credit to the boys and they follow his instru instructions well and uh, oh, he's getting the results now so they're still looking for a way through here Alberex. Castanera there. This is Ichikawa. Are you perhaps a little bit surprised that Albrechts have not brought in another striker? Yeah, I mean, I mean. they have got Arima on the bench yeah. still. This is uh, frustrating if you're an Alberex Negata fan. Yeah. I'm looking at the TV screen now, Cesar, I mean, you, you can see very clearly that the Home United did really, really well. I mean, I think uh, before this game in training, I think they really, really worked uh, on their shape and, and their tactics to, towards this game. And you always see them having numbers in midfield forward and in defence, so, you know.
cleared away by Kamara. Everyone back now for Home United. They were drawing into the shell, something you always see when the team's taking the lead and quite happy to sit back. I would love to see Home United taking, keeping possession in, in, uh, in the midfield half and trying to get the ball up front you know even if you lose the ball up front you can still win the ball back there instead of sitting back because when you sit you're back, not in favor of this at the moment nah. you know, because when you sit back you just need one mistake from anybody at the back and uh, it can cost you a goal you know to keep it compact in midfield and try to play in the uh, in Albrecht's half they basically keep doing what they were doing yeah until about the 65th minute yeah yeah there he is been a rock at the back no Raman. It's a good switch of play, space on this left-hand side. Good ball in, it's a loose one. No one picks it up. And a few nerves there for Home United with 10 minutes left to go. Nagasaki was lurking, that's onside by the way. Para will just let this roll out. Oh, now they are sitting back, home and they are sitting back, and when they go forward, they, they cannot have numbers forward now because uh, you know everybody's at the defensive area, and you know nobody likes to defend. Oh, that's a good crunch and tackle from Kamara. Yeah, that's got the fans going. Yeah. They love to see that kind of thing. <laughs> yeah. oh, Time is tackled really, really well. Not, not, not exactly known for his tackling and defensive abilities. Always much better known for going forward. Serena Kamara. Well, I guess now the coach knows his versatility. Yeah. Yeah, plenty of players today have a done lot of so players well. there. Yeah. I mean, Hafiz and uh, Kamara, Versatile, Noraman at the back there. Masrezon playing on the left now. Still looking for a way through here, Alvarex. Noraman with a touch. Anywhere will do for now. Can Home United hang on and move into third place? Don't forget, though, they will have a game in hand. Or rather, Tanjo Paga will have a game in hand. Tanjo Paga, though, have lost uh, a couple recently, so you never know. This could be great news for Home United. Probably getting a bit <laughs> nervous now. But surely, if he's the coach, he should be saying, uh, guys, just step yeah. forward. Don't, yeah. don't invite them. I mean, that's what he's, he's trying to do to the players. But, you know, players at this 82nd minute, some of them will be tired. And, you know, when you are tired, your technique is gone. And, you know, you get slower. And now, plus the, you know, past 15 minutes, 15, 20 minutes, they have been back pedaling all the time. They're putting under pressure all the time. Under pressure on themselves. Yeah. Still not much movement on the bench. Substitutions few and far between tonight. Indra is the uh, only substitution made for Home United. Arbrex, we've seen Sato come on for Nagasawa. Here's Jordan Webb. Indra Shadan, reverse pass to him. That's just too heavy a touch. That would have been a wonderful move. Yeah. I mean, you can when, when Kamara, uh, Jordan Webb gave the ball to Indra. You can hear the rest of the players. I think use your body. They, they, they want him. They want Indra to hold the ball up there. And so look, they, they can come forward and give the support and try to keep that position, uh, the possession there. But. Uh, just, had other ideas. just too heavy a pass. 
Oh, oh dear. Okay. I think that pretty much uh, that sums up, here, sums up the night, doesn't it, <laughs> yeah. uh, Rafi? Because yet another pass goes astray. Now, referee has just spotted something. It's an injury, and I think the players will be grateful for this. Now, have a look at this, because yeah. you thought he probably could have yeah. kept the ball. Yeah, I think the players were calling him for, for Indra to hold the ball a little bit longer and get more plays in the penalty box. Just because of the situation of the game. Yeah. Otherwise, to if it was... The game, yeah. Yeah. To just slow the game down and keep possession in the opening's half. Well, it's been a tale of uh, keepers getting injured. Sharal Jantan with a uh, problem on his outer thigh. Another one who has played for Singapore, Sharal Jantan, in the past. 33 years of age. He's still got it, though. Yeah. I mean, uh, we've got... Uh, I think... Our, we have got riches of goalkeepers. I was just going to say, that's that's one department <laughs> in Singapore got, yeah. not short of. I mean, uh, with Hassan Sani, uh, Charles Jantan, you know, with all these goal, good goalkeepers, you know, I mean... Lionel Lewis also not in yeah. the not national team anymore. I mean, the coach is spot for choice, yeah? So he's OK. I'm not sure he is right now. He just <laughs> wants the final whistle to go. Jordan... Getting a few instructions, I'm sure. Very little action today for Sharon Jantan. Just the one shot he's actually had to save. And that's about it. Oh, taking an attempt, uh, they saw Hara well off his line. Do you think uh, Lilam Sen would have liked that? <laughs> With four minutes to go? Yeah. I mean, he saw the keeper out, and you know, tried the lock. You'd have tried that, wouldn't you, Ruffy? Yeah, why not? <laughs> four more minutes to go. Oh, oh, substitution. Four then. minutes to go. No Asli Yusuf comes on for Jordan Webb again. A defender. Pretty much a defensive substitution here. He wants those points badly. That may just, again, push them even deeper now. Yeah. But I think he's depending on, on, on Lee, uh, you know, for, for the players to throw the ball up to him and for him to hold and probably get a free kick out of the situation, stuff like that. So... Well, this is an opportunity for yeah. Alvarex to uh, get as many of their big guns forward. Plenty of players in their box. is meat and drink for Sharon Jantan. He'll take that any day. What a waste. Yeah. I think we're expecting uh, the Albirex players to, to attack the ball there. Looking at the body reaction of some of the Albirex players, uh, you know, Tells me that they, they they know the game is over. They know they you know they can't get goals from from uh, you know, this game. And plus three more minutes to go. Yeah, I just wonder whether they were a little bit too, uh, a little bit too relaxed yeah. for this game. I'm yeah. not sure. A strange one. Perhaps something we'll find out in the post-match interviews. Don't forget our reporter Shelby Ko will be talking to both teams. We'll also give you an update on the goalkeeper Ogino from Alvarex. And of course, uh, post match analysis here with uh, former Singapore international Rafi Ali. second half than the first, I think yeah. we can agree on. Yeah, of course. I mean, both teams, uh, like, like we were talking about, the game was a little bit open up and, you know, and uh, 
most of the part of the second half uh, it's, it's uh, owned by home united home united they're putting a lot of pressure on all directs and you didn't even give all directs team a time to put you know to get their passes together and to get their rhythm going you can still see all directs now trying to build the game up once again i think the the lack of another sort of way of playing is harming their chances. They haven't even tried lofting a ball into yeah. the box. Because they don't have, uh, you know, tall strikers. They don't that they can then put the crosses in for him to attack. Just allowing that ball through. And, well, it looked like Nagasaki was going to pull the trigger there. Talking of pulling the trigger, that's fallen quite kindly. Can they scum us away? They just about do it. Home United on the stroke of full time. There are four added minutes. Must is one, I think, who got that away. Kamara initially yeah. got onto that. Kamara had a crucial touch there, yeah? And it was Mazrez one. with another header that goes well over the po the uh, crossbar and they are looking at their third loss of the season still haven't brought on another striker Yoshinaga Arima remains on the bench I don't know whether that's a statement on a lack of confidence in Arima, but surely you'd want to take that chance. Now, Home United is uh, resulting to just kicking the ball out and uh, trying to run, run down the time. Yeah. Must be the home United fans who are feeling fairly confident here. Remember, Albrecht's have a knack of scoring late goals. They did it against Home United on the 1st of March. Can they do it again here? Two and a half months later. Another corner. For some kind of foul was it a penalty they're asking for at the moment there are two home united players on the floor it's the goalkeeper Sharil jantan and ismail yunus uh, all direct players uh, felt that they, they should have got a corner there so it was a corner rather than a penalty but we'll try and get you those pictures but at the moment it's Sharil jantan the keepers have really taken a pounding today even though they've hardly been called into action. Well, you see Kamara there saying that it could have been an elbow. Everything was fine at that point. Was that a corner for you? Yeah, I think it is a corner. Let's take a look at it again. Yep, last hit it by Ismail. It was, in fact, you're absolutely right there. I think the referees had a pretty good game until then sea of players around him but you can see why the Albrecht's players are upset and that would have been their best chance yeah time fast well, running out here he will add on time of course it is a minimum of four minutes you must remember that Playing into 
Home United's hands. Last season, they had a goalless draw with Alvarex on the 23rd of August, and then earlier before that, they beat them 4-2 on the 25th of March. And it looks like they will get another win here. Strenish out out and saves with his feet. Didn't want to take any chances. The referee spotted a foul, and that probably is going to be it, Rafi. Yeah. There's that chance again. And he's got no other choice, just to take a shot at goal, yeah. There's nobody there. Sakamoto, just so few opportunities for him. We've had five minutes now, and the referee feels that is enough. It's been a well-worked win tonight for Home United. They've worked their socks off, they've really, really been at it from the first minute of this game it may not have been pretty tonight but it's been effective the only goal of the game coming just before the end of the first half from a free kick of the Korean former Korean international star of the moment in the S League Lee Kwan Woo and that was the only goal of the game chances in the second half for both sides but overall home United will be delighted with the three points and move up to third temporarily the final score here then at the Jalan Basar Stadium, it's Home United 1, Albrecht's Nikata 0. Thanks so much, Azad and Rafi. Well, a much, much better second half, I would say. And of course, Lee Kwan Wu, as you can see there, the only goal scorer for this game. And Home United getting the revenge that they so sorely wanted after losing the first round that happened on March 1st. We'll be hearing from the assistant coach from Home United, Adi Saleh, a little bit later. He'll be with Shelby, and of course, I'm pretty sure he will be exceptionally happy with that result. Alberex Nagata, however, will be sorely disappointed. Well, thankfully, a lot more to talk about in the second half, but uh, let's go look at the first here with Hafiz Ryan with the pick of the first half chances before the goal, and uh, a credit to the goalkeeper, Ogino. Yeah. Credit to goalkeeper uh, having a good save, but again, you know, you see him, you know, after after the dive and he still he went down after, it and you know, I think it's affecting him a lot. But the goal came just a few minutes later of Lee Kuan Wu. Who else for Home United? This free kick whipped in. Kamara, we thought he got a touch, but actually yeah. it was all down to the Korean. Yeah, because the ball is whipped in with, with uh, a lot of pace. Yeah, uh, you know, it just need a touch or a distraction from the defenders, which Kamara did. Yeah and uh, it all put the goalkeeper off. Second half, as we said, a big improvement, and Lee Kwan Wu in a slightly more withdrawn role. That's exactly where he wanted to see him. That's where, you know, that's where we can see his class with his passing and his visions, and, you know, getting players like Jordan Murphy, in Russia that game, you know. Yeah, wonderful vision from the Korean, and he played some superb passes in that in that game. And Hafiz Rahim, uh, we were commenting on how you were delighted that he has plenty of self-confidence and yeah, he'll I mean, go for goal. Yeah, he's a player who, who is not shy to take a shot, who's not shy to, to get involved into the game, get stuck in into the tackles and stuff. So, you know, like I say, I've been admire him, admiring him from before when he was a young boy in, 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 in Geelang. Eh? So he's, he's not shy. He doesn't care who's play, he's playing against. This was so one of the important. rare chances that Alberax actually found a little bit of space yeah. in and around the penalty area. but. Uh, once again, it was that wall of red in front of them that proved yeah. difficult to break. Yeah. The initial pass was from uh, Kamara, who tried to uh, no, misplace his pass. That, that allows the Alperex players to, to you know, counter attack the ball. Incredibly, again, yeah, this was the only save that Sharon Jantan yeah. had to make in the entire game, really. And uh, it wasn't too difficult for yeah. him in the end. Again, we were talking about the shape of Home United. They, you know, even though Alperex has got a chance, but they, they don't have a clear chance at goal. You know, they were always put under pressure. Another half chance here where the combination of Indra and Jordan proved a little yeah. bit problematic at times yeah. for the Albrecht's defence. But we can see the Indra first touch, it was a bit uh, too hard on his first touch. Yeah. As the game wore on, of course, Albrecht began to turn the screws a little bit. But every so often, as you saw here, again that combo of Indra and Jordan not quite working out. Yeah. 
think the pitch play is a part. You see the touch and the ball slides. Well, towards the end, as we said, more and more balls into the box. But this is the kind of half chance that they never really took. Charles Jantan will have that all the time. He'll be happy to take those sorts of balls in. And he wasn't tested enough. Right at the end, though, the good bit yeah. of defending. Yeah. I mean, Kamara is stuck his foot in. Lucky for home United, he went to Masrezan, who has got a chance to clear the ball there. But once again, bobbling around. Kamara and Masrezan playing in unfamiliar positions, doing well. And right at the end, a scramble around a corner where it actually should have been awarded for another corner, not given, but it was that willingness to get bodies in the box for Home United. Yeah, again, we must say, you know, all, all the Home United players did very, very well. Everybody stick to their task really, really well for 90 minutes, and, and then they, they do their job, you know, that was required of them, and it was a very disciplined job today. Well, this was as good as it got for the likes of uh, Sakamoto, and Nagasaki because they just didn't have enough service today. You see, he's only he's the only player there. Either he takes a shot or he just tries to chip over the goalkeeper. So what do the stats tell us? Well, just two shots on goal for Home United. That's all they needed. Four for Albrecht Nagata, as we saw towards the end of the match. Plenty of efforts off target. Seven for Home, six for Albrecht. And uh, lots of corners again towards the end of the game. Very little to tell between the two sides in terms of possession. That is as low as you've probably seen all season for Albrecht, just 53%. But the most important stat, as we always say each week here at the John Lampasar Stadium, Home United win this game by a goal to nil. Thanks, guys. So we're used to seeing a, a very patient-paced game from Albrecht. Um, I mean, the team really up to their efforts um, towards the end of the, the match. Do you, in saying that, do you think they could have really up to the pace a bit earlier in the game? Okay, firstly, I'd like to congratulate uh, the opponent for their 1-0 victory. And then uh, I think we have played our normal style of football today. Yes, uh, maybe we could have upped the pace at the end, but uh, we also had a few clear-cut chances which we could have scored, but uh, unfortunately, we failed to take them. Okay, and Ogino, how's he doing at the hospital? Any updates? His injury did look pretty serious. Okay, uh, Ogino has su uh, sustained neck injury but for precautionary measure we have uh, brought him to the hospital uh, good news for fans is that um, he's doing well uh, he's able to walk he's able to talk so let's hope he can get back to the training ground or even play football uh, as soon as possible yeah so we wish him well and we hope he's back on his feet asap back to you guys thanks guys so you certainly got uh, your strategy spot on with your play today congratulations on your win uh, tell us about your strategy um, we knew that uh, Japanese player, you know, they can pass well and uh, they are fast, you know. So uh, we got our plan. So we did well, you know, um, by pressing them, and not let them play freely. Uh, yeah, I think the the boys did well, you know, follow to the plan, coach plan. Yeah. Okay, and in saying that, do you think that perhaps you should have got more goals in this game? Um, I mean. It's not going to be easy, especially play against like a Brex team, okay? Because uh, they did defending very well. Um, we create chances. Um, just the unlucky, we just didn't get the goals. Yeah, in the net. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Back to you guys. Thanks.